Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to first grade math. You know, we always start with warming up our math brains, so we're going to stand up, count by fives, starting at zero, going to a hundred. Ready? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, we're still working on our same standard, our place value addition, and adding within 100. Let's go back over our vocabulary words. We have the word add. When we add, we use this symbol, the plus sign, and we get a sum. You add two numbers together to get a larger sum. When we subtract, we use this symbol, and it means minus. The answer to a subtraction equation is the difference. We also have our rod. One rod is 10 cubes, and it holds the tens place. And then we have our cube. A cube is just one, and it holds the ones place. Let's look at our example. We have 7 plus 6 equals 13. We had two numbers added with our symbol the plus sign to get the sum 13. Now let's look at our subtraction example. We have 13 minus 7 equals 6. So we had our large number 13. We took away or we minus 7 to give us the difference Look at this example right here. I have cubes, cubes, and more cubes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven cubes, the plus symbol, and then these cubes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That group was six cubes. So now I have seven plus six. Well, we added our cubes together and this is what we got. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen cubes. What could we do to make this group of cubes smaller? Think about it. If you said make a 10 or make a rod, kiss your brain. So we're going to consolidate these into a rod and some cubes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm going to circle this because there's 10. 1, 2, 3. So we have, now we can change that number of cubes into a rod because there's 10 cubes in a rod with 3 cubes left over. 7 plus 6 equals the sum 13. Let's try this one. Find 55 plus 6. I'll give you a second to draw it out. 55 plus 16. All right. So for 55, I hope you drew five rods and five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we have the number 16. How many rods and how many cubes? For 16, I'm going to have one rod because there's a one in the tens place and six cubes because there's a six in the ones place. 
one rod and six cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, our direction says add the ones. So let's bring our ones together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven cubes. How can I change that to make it easier? Well, we know with the number eleven, we would have one rod and one cube. So here's our rod. A rod equals ten and a cube for the number 11. Then it said add the tens and ones. So when we adding our tens, let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and our ones. So I have 71. So 55 plus 16 equals 71. The sum is 71. We have seven rods and one cube. Let's take a look at this one. You have 46 circles and 36 squares. How many shapes in all? When we have our word problem, remember we need to underline the important information. So let's read it again. 46 circles and 36 squares. We know that would be important. 46 circles, 36 squares. How many shapes in all? So we know in all, we're bringing them all together. Remember when you take a number and another number and you bring it together for a larger number, you're adding. So you use your plus symbol. So we're going to say 46 plus 36 gives us the sum. I'm going to give you a few seconds to draw it out. Look at the two digits. You have a four in the tens place and a six in the ones place. Remember when you draw your four and your six, what place value do they hold? Would it be a rod or would it be a cube? Okay, for 46, we have four rods. One, two, three, four rods and six cubes. Six is in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and for the number 36, remember what number is in the tenth place and what number is in the ones place. For 36, you should have three rods and again, six cubes. Four, five, six. All right, remember our rules. We're going to add the ones and then the tens and ones together. All right, when we add the ones, we're going to see if we can make it smaller by making a group of ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we know these will make us another rod. And then we'll have one, two cubes left over. That gives us the number 12. Six plus six equals 12. I drew one rod and two cubes for the number 12. Now we're going to count by tens for our rods because we have to add our tens and our ones to get our sum. Ready? When we count by our, when we count our rods, we count by tens. 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we know our 8 is going to go in our 10's place. And we can't forget about our 1's. 1, 2. I have 82 for our sum. Do you have 82 for your sum? Let's check. So we added our 1's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got our 12's and we added our 1's. We converted that into a rod and two cubes. So now we only count our tens and then our ones left over. When we counted our tens, we counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We put an eight in our tens spot for it to hold 80. And then we had our one, two, and the one spot for the sum, 82. 46 plus 36 equals 82. Now let's check. I have 48 plus 32. We don't know the sum yet. So A says 76, B says 80, and C says 100. Why don't you draw it out and see what you get? For 48, you should have four rods, one, two, three, four rods. Four rods equals 40 to hold the four in the tenth place, and then eight cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for 32, you should have three tens, one, two, three, and two ones. One, two. Remember, when you add these together, we're going to add up the ones to see if we can make a group of 10, and then add the tens to it. So let's count our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we make a rod out of that? We sure can. So I'm going to circle my ones to know that I'm making an extra rod. When we have our rods, you know what to do. We count by tens. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We have eight rods. That gives us 80. Let's look back at our answer choices. A said 76. It gave us seven rods and six ones. Is 76 the same as 80? Mm -mm. B says 80. Let's count the rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oop, eight. Eight rods gives us 80. And then C says 100. 10 rods would give us 100. If you guess B, you're correct. All right, now we're going to go to our smart board and do a couple of examples to add or place values. All right, Linda picked 14 strawberries. Her siblings picked 30 strawberries. How many did they pick all together? We did this problem on Monday but I just want to make sure you remember how to use the number bond method. All right, so it's a word problem, so we're going to mark it up. Linda picked 14 strawberries. Her siblings picked 30 strawberries. How many did they pick all together? So we know we're going to add 14 plus 30 in our equation, okay? I'll give you a few seconds to try to solve it. You can draw out your tens or use your number bond. We're going to put 14 in our number bond. Well, we know that 10 in the ones place, I mean in the tens place, and 4 in the ones place 
We can't forget about our 30. We'll put our tens together. 30 plus 10 gives us 40. Can't forget about our ones. We have four ones equals 44. Now I'm going to do it with drawing the rods and cubes. 14, we know that's one rod and four cubes. For 30 strawberries, the three is in the tens place, so you know that is how many tens? Three tens, or three rods. Two, three. We're going to count them up all together, counting by tens for our rod. 10, 20, 30, 40, so we have 40, and then our ones, one, two, three, four. 44. They picked 44 strawberries all together. We could use our other strategy, the strategy you learned today by making groups of 10. This one says find 26 plus 5. Okay? Find 26 plus 5. Make a group of 10 and then add your 10s and your 1s together. I already drew out your example. So try to make a group of 10 with your 1s, and then you add your 10s and your 1s together. Okay, we're going to try to make our group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we know these make another 10 cubes equals a rod and we have one cube left over so then add the tens and ones so when we count our rods we're going to count by tens 10 20 30 1 26 plus 5 equals 31 if you got 31, pat yourself on the back. All right, you try this one again. Find 50, I mean find 65 plus 7. Try to make your 10 and then you add your 10s and 1s together. I didn't draw it out, so you need to draw out this one. Remember, when you're drawing out your rods and cubes, you've got to look at your two-digit number to see what's in the tens place and what's in the ones place. Okay, 65. The six is in the tens place, so I'm going to draw six rods. One, two, three, four, Five, six. I drew six rods to represent the six in the tens place. I'm going to draw five cubes to hold the ones place. One, two, three, four, five. All right, the rest of our equation says plus seven. So I'm going to add seven more cubes. One, Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, remember the rules. Try to find a group of ten and then add your tens and ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to circle these to know that that's already a group of ten. Here's my rod. I had the two cubes left over. One, two. All right, let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We had twelve ones in all, so that gives us a rod and two cubes. Now we add our tens and our ones. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We'll put down our seven to hold our tens place, and then one, two. So, 65 plus seven equals 72. Sometimes you might see it like this. You might see your tens and your ones added together. So you would see six tens plus one ten equals seven tens. All right, I want to do a little activity for you to try. Our word problem. There are 33 math books and 27 reading books. What is the total number of books? Remember, it's a word problem, so you need to underline the important information. Okay, there are 33 math books, 27 reading books, what is the total number of books? The equation was already done for us. 33 plus 27 to get the sum. We don't know the sum, so we're about to figure it out. You count your ones and then your tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circle your group to give you another rod. Add up your tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, 33 plus 27 gives you the sum 50. They had 50 books all together. All right. Let's just review what we did today. We used two strategies. We used the number bond and making a group of 10. When you count out your ones and you see that you can create a rod from the group of ones, that's your easiest bet. Thank you so much for joining us today in our lesson and we'll be back with adding more on Monday.